friends, and welcome again to another Ecocalypse video! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video we'll be making the Abyss Dive Guide. Many people are asking me, there's a lot of things that are not being explained or they don't understand it, why they're not pushing as much as other people that are lower than them in power and achieving better results. I resetted this uh, today, I kept it here just to make this video and show you what I could pick and what to expect in this. There's so much points that I would need to explain for some people who didn't know, many people know this by uh, heart and know what to do, but there's aspects in this game, that a game mode that you need to understand that could push you further and further and mostly there's attributes that you do not want to skip. Not everything that you see for 9 diamonds you need to pick. Not everything that is uh, there you need to consider. Some things that you don't need to take and some things that you need to focus on. Before we go through that, let's talk about the Shadow Sentinel. So somebody asked me, as free to play, can we complete it? Can we accomplish everything and we can, uh, can we get all the rewards? So if we go and check the reward list, I completed everything. I got all the rewards. I got it all as free to play. This is a totally free to play account. You can do this. You can defeat 60 players if you hire, if you if you play from the start, or if you joined on uh, new servers, you'll find other players that are lower than you that you can go and hit them. Always stay uh, close to your base. Like pick up a base that your uh, uh, let's say guild or your syndicate has a spot on. So when you die, you don't accumulate so much, so you can go to them and occupy them again. Every, every distance that is further away, it's 10 points that you need to pay here and it regenerates really slowly. And now that I completed everything and I got hit, now I don't care, I just want to go and occupy as much as possible, just when I get the points, revive myself, go to allocation, occupy it, just to get some points, because on the individual ranking, you wanna rank somewhere in the top 100 so you can achieve the rewards. I'm at rank 51 now, if I go to less than 50 from 41 to 50, that's good. If not, I'm already happy if I stay in the top 100, which is absolutely great. Now, this is all for the Sentinel. Let's talk about the major important thing, which is the Abyssal Dive. So there is a few things that you need to understand. I did three different accounts other than this account. I tried other methods, other buffs that I took and i played them with the basic same team with the fenriru carry and all the units that everybody have most likely like audrey one copy of icon anybody who's tanking and uh some supports or healers like dina or whatever uh, you have now what i understood here is control is everything the people who's playing niz the people who are playing wajet are having more success and the mc of course are having more success than others and using the neolith the book of dantelion because it's the most important thing. It's RNG, you can always go into the fight and out of the fight and skip it if you can't defeat it. Like if you can't defeat the fight, I'll show you. You can just go inside, try to defeat it. If you can't just go outside, you're not gonna use lose any counts. If you die or you don't achieve the mark that they wanna uh, tell you, you're gonna uh, lose one count from here. Now, the most important thing is the buffs that you're gonna gain uh, from the, uh, there's a lot of buffs. I'll be explaining them one by one uh, and just let's hop into here and show you what you need to concentrate on. Many people are telling me the most priority things is crit rate and crit damage. This is absolutely false. Don't fall uh, for this. Crit rate and crit damage are important. You can take crit rate, uh, crit rate and crit damage, but basically you want to take the most basic things and secure yourself a way to not to uh, uh, get, uh, die or not to achieve your mark in this mode. Now, basically this mode, if you go and do the quick battle Im immediately sweeping one click everything, the buffs that you took from the earth the previous run will be recorded and you'll take the same buffs. So if you're fighting, let's say you're in uh, 70 kilometer and you hit a wall, if you always quick battle, you're gonna get the same buffs that you took the last time that you finished it on manual. So maybe this is the point where you suck at. So if you want to reset it, do the battle speed up every single floor and pick up the buffs and then go continue with what you need. The most important things that you need to understand about this game mode is fusion is meaning Neolith. When you say, when you take fusion crit damage and fusion crit rate, it means your Neolith will crit with their damage more and more, which is the least important thing that you need to consider in this. The most important things are dodge, block, damage attack damage reduction and hp sometimes hp 
these are the most important six things that you need to pick in this damage reduction you'll take less damage from them bursting you block you're gonna block a lot of damage dodge it means you're gonna miss uh, they're gonna miss an entire attack if they hit you and these you don't need to make them at 100 percent the minimum baseline that you need them at is 50 percent and the most important thing that you need to pick is hit rate at least make your hit rate 50 percent if you can't land a hit what does the crit do to you the crit does nothing if you can't hit them and you're gonna tell me oh but we can restart it until we get a hit all of a run you're gonna waste a lot of time sometimes it works many times it doesn't work if it works on the first time you hit them the second time it not, may not work because they have dodge rate and they have block rate and they have a lot of this block reduction also is important you need to get it to plus 50 because if they have block 50% on your side of block reduction, it means 50% of the time they will not block. Now let's go and check it out. What do I pick here? And you can see all your buffs in this tab in the Abyss bonus. So I took the damage bonus, I took the HP bonus at the start. They were absolutely good because they're 30%. I'm 20% off getting my mark on the HP. And the HP, the more that you get, the merrier. The damage bonus, the more that you get, the merrier. Damage bonus and attack bonus are better than having crit rate and crit damage. Crit rate and crit damage comes next after them. The priority is to take the damage and the attack at the start. So we battle speed up only the floor. So we don't get and uh, we go complete it all with this. So we have attack, pierce rate, pierce rate, which is goes uh, through uh, resistance and through armor, which is so important as well, because you're going to hit them with raw damage, which is really good. But because it's 10%, I have 20% on attack, crit rate on 30%. I can continue and take off my attack as you see i still have points so it will help you later when you're going and uh, trying to deal more damage so we're gonna speed up again the battles and check what we're gonna get so we speed up only the floor and we're gonna get there's defense block strength which is your block and crit rate which is 10 percent absolutely you take defense defense will help you a lot versus the bossing floors because you don't want to get below 50 percent and they delete you again we speed up this is one of the most important things, which is damage reduction. The more that you have damage reduction, the more that you're safer for not getting one shot or getting below 50% when you're fighting these bossing stages. So damage reduction is absolutely necessary. And one more time, before I forget, and I, I wanna remind you of this. Who shines in this? Wajet, Niz, and the MC very, very much. Now, Zawa could help, but the probability on Zawa and only one unit to get blinded is so bad. This is why you need Wajet, you need uh, Niz, and you need uh, the MC. The stuns are great. The MC can stun not only one. Many people are asking me, does he stun only one unit? No, there's a probability to stun four units if you put him in, in specific location in the back row, midline, or something like that. Niz can freeze up to four units. Wajet will 100% can hit three units if you have her at three or four stars or something, maybe fourth unit. But she will go and mummify uh, three units. If you have her at three stars, Wajet, you're absolutely securing your fight with not taking damage from the backline enemies who's mummified because they're gonna attack their own units which is really really great so again crit reduction which means you're gonna get less crit to your face it's not that important dodge is so important and hit rate is so important because hit rate is more than dodge here we're gonna click and get hit rate now we can check our bonuses by clicking the abyss bonus and check what we have we have damage bonus at 30 hit rate as 20 so we need 30 more here we need 20 more here and we will be set almost with the damage and hit we can take crit then and attack bonus also at 20 defense at 30 damage reduction at 15 so here we go and we continue block rate which is absolutely crazy 30 percent yes sir we take it all the time so here we go on this account i'm stuck at 36 kilometer and this is what we got in the end so we have a crit strength which is crit damage by 30 percent crit rate by 30 percent so we did to take crit because we didn't find anything better plus you need some crit on your uh run because the crits are uh, really handy because if you crit your attack when you're hitting it will be absolutely crazy hp bonus 110 percent 
we found the best uh, modifiers for it. Damage bonus 110%, hit rate is 90%. Now, if it's 100%, you're never gonna miss anything. Defense bonus 90%, defense is really great against the attack. The more attack they have, the more defense you have, it counters it. So damage reduction, whatever they hit me with, if, uh, by their skills or auto attack, I have 60% damage reduction. Attack bonus 60% also adds up to my damage. Pierce rate, if you see here, block reduction and block strength and block. Now, infusion, fusion damage reduction, 30% of the damage of their few, of their Neolith that will hit us, the enemies, 30% will go off, 50% of our damage will be buffed from our Neolith. Now, these stats are looking great, they're looking solid, it will help us. I didn't try the run uh, on 36 uh, kilometer, this will push me harder and harder. Let's go and uh, try to test this out. So first of all, let's start and check it out. So here we go. You see the damage that I'm dealing right now. And th remember, always the, your Neolith, the stuns are so important. We stun their unit. We're taking damage. It doesn't matter. Look at the damage. We're not taking that much damage. We're still at 83%. And this is at Forbidden. And here we go. The damage is insane that we're doing. And it's over. That's it, GG. This is how we defeat that stage. I was stuck on that stage because I was always repeating it. The difficulty Forbidden, as you see. And we climbed ranks. And this will help you achieve more and more. And you can go and clear it more and more. Now, we have block reduction and crit rate. Of course, we're going to go with block reduction. The less block that they have, the more damage that we deal. And of course, I'm going to continue all of this. I think I can... No, I can't swipe it. I can continue through this. These stats are the most impor uh, important stats. Look at me. If there was dodge, I would give up everything to have dodge. Dodge, it means you will miss. they will miss all their attack. Because the uh, dodge is so OP, they didn't include it here. If you have dodge, uh, if or, or, or if dodge pops up, I don't know what if it, it didn't pop for me any anywhere So before I continue a correction, I was very unlucky. There was a dodge rate I was thinking that I was a little bit not in my in my mind So there is dodge rate and it's very rare to get actually and if you're lucky to get dodge rate and to get it to 50% or to 100% it will be awesome so here we got a dodge rate so I'm gonna pick the dodge rate of course so keep that in mind so guys, here we are. This video is taking too long because I can't stop progressing. As you see, I, I told you I was stuck at 36 because I didn't pick the talents. This is my main free-to-play account, but I was uh, taking any talent that is golden and just going with it and uh, not min-maxing. So I did another account that I told you about, three accounts, and I did successful runs and I got even achieved better than this result. And now I pushed just on auto because of what I picked. Let's check what did I pick so far. So crit strength and crit rate, I didn't take even one point in them anymore. Damage reduction, attack bonus, pierce, damage bonus, hit rate, which is the most important one, as I said, and defense bonus. Defense bonus is amazing, actually. Uh, HP bonus, because I don't want to take so much damage. The more HP that you have, the more the minus uh, 38 or, or the minus uh, that they told you don't go below 50% will be better for you. Dodge, I wish I can find more. I'm not finding more. If I find 5% more, more dodge, I will take because dodge came in clutch very much. Block reduction, 90%. Uh, so we reduce their block. Actually, they don't block anything. Literally zero blocks. Block strength, our block strength is 30% and the block that we have is 120. I will show you a run. The block is absolutely amazing. Fusion damage reduction is, uh, or their Nihilith is 50% and our does 50 more, which is, helps a lot. And as you see, um, this run is the first time I do this. So this is the clear. I achieved all of this because I can claim them all because this is the first time I, I go through this. I will not claim them. I'll claim them later right now. So this is how we did that. Again, these are the ones, screenshot them, take them into consideration. Again, my dodge is at 15% because I didn't find dodge. If I find more dodge, I will take dodge. Dodge is so important. They can miss their entire attack. And it happened with me. I was laughing because it was Mori. And Mori can one-shot any unit, single target. And she, she missed the entire attack. So it was very funny. Now, let's go and check this. And of course, I did this all on Forbidden. All on auto, I didn't do anything. Uh, I failed here on auto, so I want to go and make it, uh, check it with you. I, I tried to go, go and do it, and it, it could be done, actually. So I can push to 70 if I go all normal, all again, but forbidden. And as you see, it's double my power. So my power at 1.4, 
this this is at like three let's say 2.9 it's double it's actually double my power so let's go and check how this could go so as you see my Neolith, this one, the Book of Dantalion, is the most important because I stun with it. And if it stuns, it's absolutely perfect. So we heal. And we're taking a lot of damage. And yeah, that's 49%. Now here, I lose. I wipe. And this is because I couldn't block on my Fenriru. So if I continue, I lose an attempt. Because I, I just, they kick me out of the lobby. You can retreat now and you will keep your points at two points here you're not gonna lose any points so you can go and retry again let's go and retry it at normal or we can do it at freakish but but i don't care for the points look how many excess points i have here so uh, i don't need even to do anything with them so let's go and uh, try to defeat it at normal uh, and i'll show you what's the difference between freakish and normal forbidden and normal so here we go as you see one block so they are scaling more and more on the boss's level. They are getting to block, even with our hit rate or our pierce or block reduction. Uh, Neftis here is so much annoying. She's the most annoying part and we lost, as you see. So, what we need to do is maybe take more stats, maybe get lucky a little bit. If I have Wajet here, if and remember that, if you have Wajet, if you have Niz built up beside your MC, this run is the easiest run in the world. And be, of course, uh, we ranked a little bit higher. Now I'm at rank 41. As free to play, rank 41. So let's check my team, actually. <laughs> it's funny. My team is funny. So I got a lot of Baphomet. So my Baphomet is at... Uh, how many stars? At three stars. My Fenriru, no stars. My Icon at one star, which is... I'm so sad because I got shafted like three times on her banner with the pity. Uh, Audrey one star, Dina no stars, and Baphomet, for some reason, the game just gives me Baphomet all over. So, uh, if you are unlucky with summons, just like me, and getting, like, unit that is not that helpful, it's a little bit helpful, but not that helpful, it's also possible to get there. I pro probably will hit something between 60 to 70 if I push along slowly, and with the RNG of stuns, I get so much stuns with the MC. I'll try Niz, Niz has zero stars on my account, but I'll try her and i'll let you know what happened but basically this is the full guide and this is the best way to go about this again get dodge if you can get dodge and this is the most important one hit rate you don't need the crit strength you don't need the crit rate of course take them take a little bit points of them like i would trade uh, something like uh, let's say what is that not that um, everything is important that i took maybe 10 percent hp i would take it off put it in crit strength not in crit rate because if I crit, I want it to be critting hard. If not, uh, it doesn't matter because I will take a damage and attack over crit anytime. This was my advice to you. This is the way I did it. Uh, my friend was stuck on 76th floor and he jumped in. The, when he restarted this, he jumped into 117. He's at 3 or 4 million power. I, I thought he was on 4 million power. He was at 3 million power. Now, today, he's at 4 million power and he's progressing. He cleared it, I think. I will check up with him again. So this is my advice to you. This is the full guide uh, for the Abyss Dive. And this is how you can progress more and more. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.